Welcome back into the studio. On this short YouTube video, I'm going to show you how I created this dog's nose using pastel pencils on pastel matte paper. Now, of course, there's a long version. I think it's about two and three quarter hours on my Patreon art channel. That's tier two if you'd like to really see lots more details and how I did the fur, eyes and that collar and the background, all of it. You get to see everything that I do on that video. With YouTube, I, t I try to take out um, small sections that I think you'll be interested in and concentrate on those so you still get to see some of my videos as well. Now I've already transferred my line drawing over to my pastel matte paper so you can see all the elements really quite clearly on there and I've done that just using standard transfer paper. Of course you can use um, a pencil, a pastel pencil to draw straight on there if you want. Really you do it as a how you want to and how you feel comfortable with. I don't mind tracing it, it really speeds up the process for me. Rather than spending two or three hours uh, tracing, I can then get on with the actual pastel part of it. But each their own, if you want to do the drawing, that's completely fine as well. Here I'm using a sharp uh, pit pastel pencil. and I'm just really indicating where the nostrils are going to be so that I don't lose the shape of those because what you don't want to do when you're actually starting the blocking in process like this is to go over all of your pencil lines and really lose the shape and position especially on the nose because if you're out by just a couple of millimeters it can look really awkward and distorted so it really pays to to take your time and uh, keep those positions as I am here so once again if you want to see the full video that's on Patreon I hope you enjoy this overview and you find it of use. Now here it's more of a subdued pinky purpley colour. You can see I'm using a Derwent tinted charcoal. That's a lavender colour. Now I think they've only recently come out with these. They call it a charcoal so it's basically a pastel and they all work well together. It's, it's still really the same type of medium. They're very matte. There's no shine to them like you would get with a coloured pencil. So they work together perfectly well. There's not many in that colour range or in that range. But they are, you know, some nice muted colours which you very often see in wildlife art and pet portrait art. So useful to have if you can get them, not essential. So just building up that base layer. Here I'm blending in with a very small paper stamp. Now some of the stamps are soft and they're made from rice paper and they're quite pliable when you squeeze them. Some of them are hard like this one. This is made from just paper. They're really cheap. They come in all different brands but it's just smaller than my finger and it pushes into the surface better and see all that that um, grainy appearance, that texture appearance of the paper, look how that's disappearing as I push the pastel down into the lower regions, the lower recesses in the paper surface. Now of course the shape of the dog looks completely, the nose looks completely wrong because I haven't put any of the highlights in yet or, or the real darks all of this now needs a lot of refinement but it's got the basic colors and tones in place now i can put more accuracy and adjust all of this on top
side we've got some greys coming down here as well notice where the highlight is very bright I've left that as pure paper it needs to be bright to get that light effect that I want if I put something really dark on that area when I put the very bright lights and colors on top they would have muddied and I wouldn't have got that nice crispness that I'm after so whenever you need something really bright or really dark I mention this in virtually all my videos don't put anything else as an underlayer keep the pure paper up here it's kind of a dark blue grey colors don't need to be perfect and the colors on my drawing always shows up a bit different on the camera as well but I'm here just showing you the technique so you can you can use the techniques and the skills and apply them to your own artwork because no doubt you're gonna get clients that got want their own dogs or you want your own dog or cat or pet it's all right to see me do a drawing of this particular dog but if you're going to be a pet portrait artist you need to take those techniques and be able to apply it to any dog on my patreon channel I've got a few videos now showing different breeds with different lengths of fur as well on that highlight I'm using a very light pink it's almost white or salmony color very very light putting that in first and that highlight won't really make sense until I've got the color of the muzzle by the side of it it won't really zing and look super bright and it looks a bit odd but I know it's accurate because I got that reference right by the side and that's why I like to get the reference that close and also the same size as the drawing I'm doing it makes computing in the brain so much easier you can just glance to the side and try and match it for accuracy so a little bit more refinement on the nose and then we can start moving on to a different area again so now I'm working on those lighter tones it's more subtle refinement just lightening a few areas, darkening others. And all of a sudden, if you get that just right, then at some point it'll look realistic, just like the photo. bit more blue on top you can see even though it's quite a vibrant blue a sky blue because I'm only using it very lightly and it's mixing a bit with the under colors it's just tinting them it's just putting a hint of that color on there Okay, so a bit more refinement at the top using the, a darkish grayed blue again when you see the colors with the gray tops on and that white strip around it that's a Carbothello pencil so if you're new to seeing my videos my another question I always get asked what's my favorite pencils so Carbothello that's a great set for starting out with pit that's another wonderful set they're quite 
foam. You can't say they're hard because they're nothing like a um, coloured pencil. But they are a firmer pastel pencil. And they're my main two. Carbothello and Pit. You won't go wrong if you use those as your starting sets. And then you can add to that at a later date.